So poetry reading, take two, since I screwed up the first time around about 10 seconds into it. Doing it selfie style, because this is uh, the least comfortable way to do it. The poem is Ode to Walt Whitman by Pablo Neruda. I can't recall my age, or if I was in this vast streaming south, or on some forbidding coastline where seagulls wheeled and cried, but I touched a hand that day, and it was Walt Whitman's hand, and barefoot I walk the earth. I wade through tenacious dew in the grasslands of Whitman. Throughout my entire childhood, my companion was that hand with dew on it, the timber of its patriarchal pine, the expanse of its prairie, its mission of articulate peace. And Walt did not disdain all the gifts of the earth, the capital's surfeit of curves, the purple initial of learning, but taught me to be Americano and raised my eyes to books toward the treasure that we find inside a kernel of wheat. And girthed by the clarity of the plains, he made me see how the high mountain tutors us. From the subterranean echo, he fetched it all in for me, whatever he could harvest, gallivanting through the alfalfa on the days he passed in the kitchen or at the bend of the river. But not just earth by itself was brought into the light by the work of his shovel. He disinterred humanity, and the slaves who were abased along with him, balancing the black dig dignity of their stature, went on to conquer happiness. To the stoker, down below in the boiler room, Walt sent a basket of strawberries. And each corner of his city was visited by his verse, verse like a strip of clean flesh, the beard of a true fisherman, the solemn, supple gait of his acacia legs. Passing among the soldiers, his bardic silhouette, night nurse, camarado, he knew painful, rasping breath, and he waited with the dawn for life's silent return. Breadmaker supreme, prime old brother of my roots, cupola of the conifers. For the last hundred years, the wind has passed over your germinating grassland without consuming your vision. But now your country is cruel, full of persecution, tears, prisons, and lethal weapons, uncivil wars that nonetheless haven't crushed the grass of your book, living source of originality. And I, those who murdered Lincoln, who now lie in that bed, have dismantled the fragrant lilac of his memorial and put a throne in its place, splattered with blood and misfortune. Your voice, that's still singing in the suburban stations on the unloading docks at night, your word, that's still splashing like dark water, and your people, black, white, poor and simple, like all people still not forgetting the tolling of your bell, they congregate and sing beneath the magnitude of your spacious life. They walk among the people with your love. They caress the pure development of fraternity on earth. <laughs>